guys this is mass and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing some fenrir in the solo lane if you guys don't know fenrir got a crazy buff in season two although it's a buff that or season two <laughs> season 10 uh it's a buff that you don't see a lot of the time on him it doesn't stand out it's not all that evident that it exists because fenrir is super ability based with his three is one is ult he's using all those and what they gave him is a bunch of attack speed on his two so you can make the two do more things but if you're using it with actual other stuff then uh, it's not always going to be all that evident. So a little bit of a weird change for him, but it makes him a lot more brawly with the two, which makes him way better in solo than he was before. So we're doing a little solo Fenrir right now. They have a Hebo mid, so hopefully we get to counter him a little bit as we get deeper in the game. They have a Wheelix jungle that they're trying to counter pick me with. So hopefully we don't get too punished by that. Yeah, that's just a straight up a Wheelix gank. I'll be chilling. That sucks. I really wanted to just beat his ass real quick because eventually we win that trade. When I bait all the cooldowns out, I eventually just beat him up. I don't think we quite kill, but I would have beaten, it up, beaten him up a lot. Death's Toll, Lifesteal, Health Chalice already, huh? And I think he wing sharded himself too. So we'll wait it out. I'll try and not get farmed by the Wheelix gank. Do a little damage back, not too much. She might still be lurking. I still haven't seen her on the map yet. So I'm waiting it out. I'm being bored. Otherwise, I just three him right now. Bing. Yeah, I really don't want to overcommit myself. I take a lot of poke here, too. Once we get our two, that'll help a lot. Alquang's really stupid. I'm sure most of you guys have seen me play Alquang solo. Very dumb pick. Absurdly obnoxious pick. So even though we're Fenrir, he's actually going to be able to bully a lot PvP-wise right now. Okay, Wheelix is in right. He probably has his one for this. So if I can bait out some cooldowns here, that'd be really good. Yeah, I think he goose right here. I think he's going to commit himself really badly. Yep. Yeah, really badly. Yeah, basically, I just get to slowly auto him down there. <laughs> he just kind of, he was using too much stuff on wave, and he just isn't going to do that. If he's actually 1v1ing me, it goes pretty well for him right now. Yeah, we are going to level the two, by the way. Uh, it might not be the play. It really depends on how he plays the lane, but it's fun. So I figured we'd, we'd mess around with it. And it's not garbage, at least. But it's not going to seem all that good until we get Golden Blade going, which we're going Golden Blade next. He's doing the Aokwang cheese. So whenever he gets his passive up, it takes, I'm trying to think, like 30 seconds-ish. Whenever he gets that passive up, he gets to basically turn into temporary Hebo with Aokwang 3s. And I'm really not exaggerating. It's pretty accurate. It's a little bit longer cooldown than Hebo 1. It's it's ridiculous, man. His, and his 3 actually hits like similarly hard to Hebo 1 early game. So it's a little bit ridiculous. We got to watch out for that. In the, uh, the earlier stages, it falls off because that ability has no scaling because high-res has no clue how to balance it. Normally, I don't like to just straight up be like, high-res doesn't know what they're doing, but I swear, with Alquang, man, they don't know what they're doing. I swear they just straight up don't. That ability has 40% scaling on it. Although maybe they might have changed it. They they do like, that is the only thing they ever do to Alquang is changes three scaling. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trolling. It's basically the only thing they do. But, like, meanwhile, his passive gives him two, two second cooldown resets. His two has 200% scaling. His two does, like, 600 base damage. Just, he's such a weird character, man. He's such a weird character with the way they've tuned him. Because, like, his base damage on his three is insane. His scaling on his two is insane. Try and just fight him a little bit here if he'll let me get our passive. Do you gotta be a little bit careful about a Wheelix right now. He's probably going to get spammy right here with his passive. I'll try and not get it too beaten up by it. Oh, that's bad. I need to be hitting that. No one, huh? I don't care. Come here. Bing. All right, we have beads for a Wheelix Ganks, by the way. I would have gone beads anyways, probably, just because I actually want to be building pretty squishy, if not entirely squishy with this build. So going TP is going to tend to be a bad idea. I wonder if I can gank this. It actually might get really good if she can catch her. Oh, this might be such a huge bait, man. Hello! Please go on her, man. Thank you. Thank you. Do not really. Really? I had to do it. It was so greedy. If Alquang rotated, it would have been so dumb that I jumped in. I had to do it anyways. 
Yeah, I got sad for a second. I'm actually surprised. I don't know if he missed his one, but I was hoping his three was just not going to be coming up and that we'd just be able to kill him. Because I think if he three won me, I died. And back to lane we go. Honestly, missed out on a decent amount of farm. How Kwong, how Kwong has died to me twice. He is 100 gold down. And we just got two assists from that rotation. Although I do get a little farm back here. And we get Golden Blade now, which will be lovely. What are you doing, man? Okay, so Bluestone will proc him out of his invis. I literally just gonna do this. Oh, too bad. <laughs> he stayed down there. <laughs> That's so greedy. Oh my god, man. No way you let me do this. And he actually gets out. That's so unfortunate. I didn't think he'd get out if I uh didn't try and lock onto him there. I'm surprised he gets out. I do have ult for him here though, so I'll see if I'll overextend. Oh no, don't hurt me. Oh, damn it, man. Let me do it. Let me, I don't have mana. I need to chill. I need to chill. Please, please start dying. Thank you. We had beads of the ultimate, but still. No Wheelix gank. Dip. Alright, we're good. Look at that. Yeah, let me get words, man. I really did just run straight back at his face. I should have <laughs> I should have gotten myself some mana for that. I dumped through my mana so fast right now. If we use all these abilities, I use like 60% of my mana at the moment. So blue buff good, totem good. Not bursting so ridiculously hard, maybe important to think about. Looks like the game's going pretty well so far. Looks like we're winning every lane. Yeah, let me ward load just in case. Oh, hi. Oh, I got a little weird. She used it. Uh, she used it so late. I wasn't even thinking I would need a beads. Did she, what? Did she beads? No, that was her ult, right? That had to be her ult. I almost trolled my team so hard. I was about to call that. <laughs> she was glowing. Chill. See if I can bait him into using his invis here. Okay, I'll chill a little bit. Uh-oh. Got a little, a little close for comfort there. He does actually get to execute me now. My beads are down. I'm so close, man. I get the ult right here. I gotta make so many more plays with his ult. All right, do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we only get to play it that way because he doesn't have beads and we have cleaner right there. And I was keeping an eye on her. She'd been looking to gank. Alright, so we grab this. A Wheelix is mid, so we're fine. He might have TP. I might have to run for my life in a second here. Oh, maybe not. What if he's really cheeky and he TPs to T T2 to be sneakier? <laughs> you think you think he'd do that? I'm assuming it's just on cooldown though. All right, I gotta chill. I can't greed for totem. I really want to, man. I want to greed for it so bad. All right, let me bank it up. Nice, we got a pretty big lead so far. I gotta be a little bit careful while beads are down and while ults down. He's got Pythag, so his sustain's absurd. You get so much. You get so much sustain out of Pythag's. Alquan gets crazy life steal value as a god because he auto attacks a lot, and auto attacks basically just get more life steal. Um, and he also just has a ton of ability damage and he's also got the healing from his, from his passive. It's just, it's so hard to like trade him through that sustain when he gets us online. I think I'm fed enough that I can probably we'll have to keep an eye on it. Yeah. Pop the thing. You know, you want to, I won't try to run. I'll take it. I probably shouldn't bother leveling the three. I feel like the one's more important so far. The three will be really nice for dealing with Ebo because I just get a latch on him and he can't do anything about it. But other than that. Which, speaking of which, we might have to gank mid in a sec. Remind him that I exist. Maybe not. I don't know. I do want to get Jotun soon, though. I'll we'll look to head back for that pretty quick. Not an issue for the guardians of this place. Sorry. 
What are we doing? We invisin? Where are we going now? Uh huh. Yeah, hitting jump would have been good, but we still do a decent amount of damage to him. Not that it matters much because I'm going to dip. So hopefully the late game doesn't suck on this pick. Um, I think a lot of it's going to come down to just how the team fights are going and how I'm building. But Fenner is capable of being good late game. He's normally somebody that's very good early game, solid mid game, falls off hard late. I just straight up have to rotate to this, I think. Huh? Do I get to do it? Nice. We actually got his roll with that, too. He's mostly just trying to make sure he didn't, uh... Hebo! Hey! Start getting threed. You having fun? Are you kidding me? No way he gets to do that. That's so annoying. <laughs> I couldn't tell if she was actually trying to ult me or not, but I tried to not jump because I thought she was trying to ult me. And she dies either way. Yeah, it sucks that he lives there, man. I don't know if I get to play it in a way where he does, uh, or where he doesn't. I think if I just straight up beads the slow on his two, I don't think the wing shard would have done enough because I'd still get slowed. I think if I beads the slow on his two, maybe, but he still gets to zoom either way. I don't know, man. Might just get a live there. What you doing over there? Oh, what? Really? It's that kind of game? Oh my god. Stop. I'm gonna get to punishing. Alright, well he probably doesn't have this warded, right? Can probably sneak that in. Hold up. Is that a blue buff for me? Thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna fight? Oh, Elix can't come to this, so I don't care. You can fight a little. Give. Oh, what we doing here, Al? Come here. Stop. I actually think I get a bully him here. I'm trying to min-max my damage and just hoping he doesn't get it. That was so weird. <laughs> that was that was not intentional that I countered his ult. What the hell? What the what is that interaction? That was so not intentional and it was so OP. I don't why did it work like that? He ulted me. I threed him as he ulted, and it like broke the knockup. I didn't beads or anything, it just didn't work. I'm not sure why. Poor guy. Hello! Oh, please! Damn it, man. It gave me the little marker for a, for a baby, like the little millisecond right there. Give me the little indicator. Yeah, this is a little greedy. I'll leave it be. I am just begging to get ganked. Please. Please. Thank you. Alright. Um. Hydra's probably? Like, this is mostly just gonna be... I need Aegis, I think. Yeah, it's mostly just gonna be like a damage Fender build. We're just starting with Golden Blade, and then we should go into the pretty normal ability-based, like, burst build. I think. Um. If it feels like I can get away with it, Bloodforge might be nutty. They could totally go mid, but they might just be dying anyways. Yeah. You got to mid, I think they were going to be dead anyways. Gold is not up. We'll see if we can make sure they don't do pyro. What? Hi, Gab. I guess they're just not even going to do it. I think they just straight up weren't anyways, because Alquang started going to lane. Which is why I was confused. He's doing a, doing a little hover, making sure I'm not going on him. <laughs> Which makes sense. It's been it's been a rough lane over here. All right, let me go take his blue again. Assert dominance. Look at me. Look at me take your blue! Surprised that Wheelix hasn't tried to gank more. 
If she sits here, it makes it really hard for me to play the game. The downside is she does just straight up have to sit here. So it's not inherently good. Try and make him miss some farm. But I think he just dipped. I think he might just give it up. Maybe he wraps around. We'll see if we can gank mid though. Don't see me. Are you? What are the odds? Oh, and he shielded that way too early. Try it, Hebo. Oh, he just doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if he doesn't have mana or if he doesn't have ult. Can you not? Can you not? Okay, so that's how that works. I got it. Got it. So sometimes we break his ult. Other times he like zoom latches onto R3. So both of us can be a little screwed. Balances it out. It is actually, I knew about that part though. If you guys don't know, um, I'm assuming it's still an interaction. If you Mercury ult and Alquang ults you as you start the Mercury ult, he will follow you to the end of the Mercury ult, like latch on. So, so Alquang ult does get a little funky with some of its interactions. That's still okay. We got to bully a little bit. It's hard to get away with getting five man ganked. So <laughs> five man ganked while I'm at the red buff. So it's not too surprising that I'm, that I'm dead there. How do I build? I do really want to greed for blood forge, but I think it's dumb. I doubt it's actually good. Who cares? Build it anyways. Who cares if bad? This really has been a brawl of a game, hasn't it? Uh oh, they might need to chill a little bit though. Maybe not. Never mind. Never mind. Go kill them all. Good stuff, boys. I kind of want to call Fire Giant, but I also don't want to throw. Because there's honestly a chance FG's a decent call there. We might actually have the damage. Because I should shred and Rama should shred, even though it's super early in the game. Oh, baby, do we get another? When was the last time this man got a blue buff? I feel like it's been a while. Oh, hi. Okay, I probably should not be trying to fight this. I don't have beads. No relics. I'm a squishy boy. She hard counters me. Oh, they want it. Oh, they want it. I swear, if you're on this, you're in big trouble. Don't try it, Oelix. I'm scared. Oh, somebody warden fire? I think it's just, I think it's just now. Do I get to do this to you? Ooh. Ooh. Man. Look at him being all cheeky down here. Look at him being all sorts of cheeky down here. Get him! Oh, he might not. Oh, never mind. Oh, you greedy man! All right, let me dip out. Or not? Or never gonna play the game? No way they throw. No way they throw. No way they throw. Okay, they're all dying for this. Please tell me they're all dying for this. They dumped everything on me and somehow didn't kill. Geb shields, can we nerf Geb shield? This man kept Hebo so alive right there. He also has the little soul gem um, ethereal bonus HP right now. So, so he's actually like a little bit of a tanky Hebo at the moment to some degree. But oh my god, was he getting shields? I'm assuming he got shell there too. The hell? By the way, that almost went really bad. I'm pretty sure Wheelix backed right there. <laughs> I heard some sort of recall. So maybe it wasn't the best engage, but we get away with it. Oh, maybe not. She's over there. Who would that have been? Yeah, you're going to do the little runaway thing. You're going to run away.
Ooh, is this build starting to get a little based? I think it is, man. Telkine's into defense. I guess that doesn't sound based, but but it's funny. It's it's just like a, it, people hate it, so I kind of respect it, you know. Ooh, Hebo. Uh oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Come here. Start getting Fennered on. All right, we got Geb. Sh uh, Geb Shield doesn't matter. We got Hebo ult. <laughs> It's gonna say Geb Shield and Hebo ult, to be fair. But I did catch myself a little off guard with how dumb it was to be like, we got Geb Shield. Big. Yeah, that is a hard counter, by the way. I mean, it's ob obviously, right? Since I just ulted and he gets cleansed by a Geb 3, that's not an ultimate. So, don't know if he did it on purpose, but it's a really strong matchup for that reason. But we should be okay. Enemies spotted. Okay, bye. Really thought we would be getting the follow-up more so than them. That's too bad. I thought our team would get there first. I don't think they were rotating as hard as I thought they were. Dude, they don't do damage, man. Why? Is she just still too early in the game? I don't think she... I think she hit her stuff well and just didn't do much. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, maybe we don't get a fight around Kalina that much yet. Because I honestly think that combo is disgusting and it legit did not matter. <laughs> like, I thought looking at that, I would assume triple kill and no one died. So maybe we don't get a fight around them yet. Maybe they got to scale up. Oh, this team's so annoying, man. The Awelix Geb counters are going to be so rough. See, what else do I build here? What's feeling any good? Magi's is kind of okay, but I don't want to lose it to Shockwave. I probably just don't want to be losing Magi's. We could get Mimi. And go, uh... Yeah? Get a, get a little Mimi? It's probably pretty dumb. It's probably not worth it. I'm going to do it anyways, though. Go that Bloodforge Shadow Drinker. Let them know pain. That poor Kleena is just juking for her life right now. Hey, guys. Look at that. We got level 20. It's just that easy. Poor guy was not ready for the washing machine right there. I wonder what it's... I really want to know, man. Without, like, without death. That's the reason I haven't done it. Without death or, like, serious bodily harm, I would love to know. Oh, I didn't get the auto-cancel off right there. I did there, though. <laughs> Dip. <laughs> Carrie's dead, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, this is a good FG. Um, dude, I want to know what it's like to be in, like, a dryer or a washing machine without hurting myself. So don't do this at home. Would not recommend. Specifically, haven't done it ever in my life because it's dumb as hell. So would not, not would not endorse, but you know, like it's interesting, right? I swear, if he gets this man, nice, get him! Oh, did he get too greedy? No, I don't care about Geb. I want the Hebo. All right, let me chill. What the hell, Awelix? Go in there. Go in there. They're, they don't get to do this. <laughs> she was not having it right there. We got to do the other tower. God, I want to turn on him, man. Yeah, keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, she's a crazy one. Oh. I'm trying to not get farmed by Cupidol here. There we go. Oh god, do we not get this? That's too bad. As long as we can live, man. Oh, Jing trying to sacrifice himself, but now he gets to do the Ao Kuang thing. Oh, I didn't get stunned. That's too bad. Okay, big Aegis. They actually cleaned it up up there, too. 
<laughs> do we get to do this? No way I trolled. I did not. Hang on, not dying to the detonate? I thought there was zero way that psychopath went in right there. Oh my God. Man was trying to wipe FGs. You know what? No, this is more fun. It's not anywhere near as good, but it's more fun. We'll upgrade Shadow Drinker over Bluestone. I think I'm also going to take a speed buff because there is two. There's plenty to go around, right, Kalina? Actually, I think we just do this and dip. Let me grab this. Go grab Bluestone upgrade. I'm assuming at some point I'll sell the Golden Blade. Probably at some point. Tebow build's so weird. It's really, it's not it. <laughs> it's, it's not the build. Soul Gem's fine. Ethereal Chrono's pennant on a Hebo, I don't get it. And, and honestly, Conduit, I don't think Conduit's good either. I mean, uh, Conduit's like maybe hypothetically good, but um, I don't know, man. In general, it's just so bad. Even with the buffs. Tell me I don't get punished here. I'm trying to not die to ganks, because our team was just plunking down on Pyro right there, and I knew at least Geb was on the way. But I wanted to kill him. Whatever, we use ult. I don't think it matters that much. No blue buff? He got one? Oh my god. We can't be allowing these throws. Hello. Whoop. <laughs> that was not me. That was a lot of Rama. I did some, but that was a lot of Rama. Hang on. There we go. Okay, I might be getting a little, little too greedy back here. <laughs> that sucks, man. I gotta kill him if Alkong doesn't show up, but it is their base, so it's not a surprise that he shows up. I have so much money. It's 26 minutes in. I'm already selling one of my items for a better item. I don't know what the better item is going to be, though. I don't know if I should just go some pen. Man's a little bit tanky. I don't know how much I care. I don't think I want to be tanky. I'm, ass I'm assuming we just go serrated. I think serrated is just good. Get to stay nice and speedy. And then I would upgrade this, but I'm going to go red pot. Look at this man. Oh my god. So for one thing, he has a Geb. Geb has the tanky super aura build. So Geb was giving Cupid, for at least most of that fight, he should have been giving Cupid, I believe, 80 prot. Um, not even counting, like, Geb shield doing Geb shield things. Although that might have been on Hebo, I don't remember. Um, but just straight up, 80 prot should have been going to Cupid right there. From Prophetic, plus Sentinels, plus, uh, plus Thebes. So he mitigated... Oh, does it not show anymore? He mitigated a little over half the damage I did, but in three autos without prots, I would have done 1500 damage that Cupid with just this build. Like, no crit, Hydras, like Bluestone, Serrate. Like, it's not like a crazy auto tank focus build or anything. And then after the prot, I still did, what, like 750, 800, something like that? That's so disgusting, man. So much damage. I really want to bully the Hebo, but I might int for it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Entire team in mid. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Are we just going to do this in time? Oh my, can I not get... I got spaghetti coded, man. It's not really spaghetti code. Should I have ulted him off? I'm assuming he just beads, right? Oh, I timed that wrong. Everybody's dead anyways. That did not go well. We did just get Fire Giants. So they don't really get much off that. But that did not go well. That sucks. That was such a such a messy fight, man. And I got so screwed by the spaghetti code. Yeah, we get to see this every once in a while on Fenner. I'll normally bring it up when it happens in a Fenner video. But if you guys don't know, Fenner has the lovely bonus of being old and getting farmed by high res, not caring to ever fix this. But Fenrir has a hitbox where when you're in your jump, when you're in your one, 
you can get CC'd not only not only before you land can you get CC'd, breaking the one, not doing damage, not getting a stun if you have your stun. Not only can that happen, it can easily happen. If the timing is remotely close to him landing, it will break his one. And that's what happened on Gavin. It changed a lot of that fight. We might have still gotten farmed anyways, I don't know, but it does matter a lot because I was like specifically going to do something to Geb that I then didn't get to do. Yeah, believe it or not, what is this? 700 damage jump plus stun just being removed. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. I don't know if he actually ran this way all the way. Yeah, he's doing. He's got some Loki, some Loki main pathing on that Alquang man with those invises. We'll go to some weird ass places. I can't, but I appreciate it. I'd rather have speed, anyways, though. All right, if we can farm Geb, I'd like to farm Geb. Wait, don't let him through. Hello, would you guys like to kill? Nope. Okay. We would not like to kill the Geb. We would like to start dying. The hell did- what? Cupid autos? What the hell did he just do to me, man? It really sucks they didn't go on the Geb there. That Geb was so free if they actually, like, reacted at all. Nice. I had to like auto him for, for my passive to finish off. So I had to play that a little weird. I'm trying to kind of linger, but I don't get to do all that much. Okay, they probably do just get Phoenix. Nice. Yeah, they just get this Phoenix, whatever. We'll try and make sure we don't throw game. Oh, Agni? We're not throwing game, are we? Okay, never mind. Hello! Thank God she actually died. For a second, it looked like she wouldn't. She died to Bluestone, right? It doesn't even show what she died to, but I'm, I'm pretty sure she died to Bluestone. <laughs> I was going to beat that, by the way, if she ulted. So I wasn't just hard inting right there. But if she did ult it and I had to beat, there was like no way I got to do anything. I basically just going to be forcing her ult. Ooh! Oh, I kind of forgot who is who. I heard Rama roll, and I thought they were on this. I got all excited. This is EFG, too. Any boys? Whoop. Stop it. Get in the fire. <laughs> boys, do not lose this towel, please. <laughs> we don't have to chase him down I mean it's fine to chase him down but we don't need to really worry about it don't do it to me Awelix I should actually try and get her ult right now since she's so oh we actually need to do it to Geb Oh, so close, man. Nice. Well, that should do it. I, dude, it's so dumb. Like, that knocks me. Really? Why doesn't my one just land sooner? Didn't he too after I should have landed? Isn't that wild? You're, poor Fenrir. Poor Fenrir. They can give his two attack speed. It doesn't matter. Bad God L code. He's got that season zero spaghetti code in his kit where he just gets bopped. But hey, at least we got to do some stuff on Fenner's Hole. I could have done a lot more if I was better with some of those jumps too. I had some, some pretty potato jumps that game here and there. Made a couple really good plays and a couple really bad plays. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm 
sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.